with you, Paul. What's going on guys, it's Shin here from C0 Media and yes, Evo is back in the garage for the first time in like the past 12 months which I guess is a good thing because Evo has been super reliable to me it has been having no issues whatsoever running strong and today I'm just gonna make it a little bit better by installing COP coil on plugs by JDC <laughs> So if you have followed me throughout the EVO build journey so far, uh, you probably know that I have the spooling of coil on plugs in the EVO already. You know, some people tell me that installing coil on plugs in EVO really doesn't do anything. But in my case, it made a huge difference when I went from OEM to aftermarket coil on plug systems. It idled better, it boosted better, it reacted to my uh, throttle. Throttle response became better. So uh, it just made a car way more fun and way more responsive to drive. And it's even more true when your car is running on E85, boosting at like 30, 40, 50 PSI or pressure. I have also installed coil on plugs on my friend stock Evos and it has made a significant difference also. So you have always doubted about the effect of coil on plug systems in general. Yes, it does make your car perform better. So the JDC coil on plug kit I'm installing today actually has authentic Denzo coils. Just the other day, by coincidence, my friend who also owns an Evo and tracks his car uh, posted a quick video about authentic Denzo coils you can get from Toyota dealerships versus the eBay Denzo coils. So I'm gonna post that video right here. This is an eBay one that I purchased. This is actually one that's been purchased from the dealer. Here's the proof. Um, there's some distinguishing differences between them and why you don't want the fake one. And I'm gonna go over that. The first thing you're gonna notice is that the one on the right is shiny and that's the fake one. And this is the original one. You can also see the Denso writing has a little writing in the D and this one's completely missing it. Also where it curves up, you can clearly see that they're very different. There's like a little bit of a notch and that might be a little bit harder to see. You can see the spring is cheaper versus the real one. The resistance comes in at 918 on the fake one and the real one comes in at 350. That's actually the most disturbing. The, the resistance is that much different. So long story short, be careful if you're ever building your own coil on plugs like this kit that you get yourself an authentic Denso coils or else there will be no benefit for you. Speaking of the Denso coils, another benefit to a coil on plug kit like this is that if you're especially running like E85 car with 40 PSI or you know somewhere above 500 wheel horsepower you can run larger spark plug gaps which means you're gonna have less chance of spark blowout issues so you can make that higher horsepower reach that level your target whatever that is and of course better spark means better burn inside the cylinder and that leads to better fuel economy but who really cares about fuel economy in these cars right <laughs> So overall kit looks awesome, it comes on this beautiful carbon fiber plating, the wires are military grade Tefzo wires, um, and it's just going to be simply plug and play. I'm going to show you how long it takes to install this. I actually might time myself to show you how quickly this can be installed. All you have to do is unplug the driver side connector and the passenger side connector and undo these two allen key bolts. Uh, why I look for the right size allen key here is that JD Customs coil on plug kit, you can pick it up for way cheaper than any of their competitors products. So go check out JD Customs or go check out c0media.com. I'm gonna have their product on my website for sale as well. Coupon code is YouTube. All right, so all you have to do is undo this guy on the left and this guy on the right and 
it just pops off like that and that guys is the beauty of a 4g 63 everything is just right in front of you this is not a silver guys actually i'm gonna get that bolt off before it falls into my spark plug holes this is not a silver guys the spark plug changing process literally takes two seconds all right guys so what you want to do is grab your brand new coil on plug kit pop that in there make sure it sits nice and snug put in your bolts so that's it guys it literally took two seconds to install i'm just gonna tie down these connectors with zip ties so it's nice and secure honestly if you can't even install a coin on plug kit you probably shouldn't own an evo because it's so easy one thing i forgot to mention they sent me a camo angle sensor so this piece goes here to protect the camo angle sensor which is this guy right here from the heat coming off of exhaust manifold because a lot of times what happens especially with aftermarket headers and high horsepower cars is that heat coming off of the exhaust manifold here uh would basically destroy the cam angle sensor it gets heat soaked and if you don't know what cam angle you're at your evo is gonna see bad time and bam look at that nice and shiny and the sensor is protected all right guys after a quick and probably the easiest install ever the new cordon plug kits are installed so i'm gonna go ahead and crank my car but because my car is so damn loud i am going to open up the garage door real quick and see what it feels like Before you take out your new installed part, of course, stay. Just make sure there's no loose parts, right? Go under the hood. Make sure there's nothing loose. Alright guys, let's go for a ride. Few things to know. My Evo is loud as hell, so you might have a hard time hearing me. And for two, my water temperature sensor went out, so if you ever see my gauge up here, uh, it's cold, but it's actually not cold. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything crazy because I'll probably get pulled over so damn fast because of how ridiculously loud and obnoxious this car is. But I'm just gonna do a pull or two just to show you how everything feels. So far, the car is very smooth, very responsive, no issues whatsoever. Uh, we'll just give it a quick pull and see how everything feels though. reaction might be a little exaggerated because I literally forgot how raw and aggressive this car is. I've been daily driving the Datsun which has been a great DD but it, it doesn't even compare to how raw this evil pulls.
No, I'm not getting pulled over. Holy crap. Guys, that's a cop right there. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm not getting pulled over. Guys, today is my lucky day, and this is exactly why I can't be doing pulls on the street because I have a collage full of tickets. I can't drive the evil casually. Every time I take it out, I was literally taking it out for five minutes, and I almost got pulled over. So um, today's my lucky day. I'm gonna go take it home. But long story short, yeah. GD Customs Colon Plucky works amazing. Car feels responsive, car sounds great. It pulls hard. For those of you who are still running OEM kits, I highly recommend running a Colon Plucky because it will significantly improve your driving behavior, performance, and you just enjoy the drivability improvement overall. So thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks again to JD Customs for creating an awesome product. Make sure to go check out CesarMedia.com or JDCustoms.com to get yourself a set of these core and plug kits. Of course, you're gonna buy coupon code YouTube on my website CesarMedia.com if you want to get a discounted price. Thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video.